Welcome everyone. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we're painting this adorable little um, Highland cow couple. And I think it's a beautiful painting to celebrate Valentine's Day or even just hang up all year round. So we have all of our supplies that come with our painting kits for y'all all ready to go. And if you have any questions about that, please leave them below in the comments. But I'll have the link on this video. And we do have a traceable that goes with this, so I did go ahead and work ahead. I've got it on my canvas already and transferred. And then I did go ahead and use the permanent marker that comes with the kit as well to reinforce these lines because it really makes it a lot easier throughout the process. So we are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my mama brush. And by the way, this is my little family of brushes. Let's introduce them to you. We've got mama little buddy and then little bit and our napkins paint out and then our water all right so i'm going to go ahead and start with mama here i'm going to go ahead and push the brush down into the water just a little bit get it moist go ahead and just kind of tap it dry and then we're going to be mixing up just a really nice very very light gray so i'm going to go ahead and pick up a dollop of the white here and a really tiny corner touch of that black. We're gonna go ahead and work that in. Again, very light gray. Add a little bit more water to that. So we want really just kind of a nice translucent wash of this over the top. All right, that's really nice. We're gonna go ahead and place this off to the side. We're gonna to start to just sweep this on over the top. We can add a little bit of water as we go. And I'm just going to keep pushing into that light gray. Again, make sure there's enough water in this mix of light gray to continue with this, with this level of transparency happening. That will serve you well through this process, just allows all of that lovely black line work that we did go ahead and show through and we can mix a little bit more so let's go ahead and do another dollop of the white and a tiny corner touch of the black and let's more water. Okay. Lightly kind of feather that out, soften up some of those brush strokes. So that is the base. That is quite lovely. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my mama brush now. So I'm going to do some firm pressure, spin it round and round. That will help release the paint from the brush. And it's now clean. I'm going to go ahead and tap that dry. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start to work in with a darker 
charcoal gray that will come in over the top and redefine these lines in here. So I'll be using my little bit brush and we're going to mix a little bit of a darker charcoal gray. So let's pull this closer. I just added a touch more of the Mars black and with the titanium white. So now we have a fully loaded brush, but it is thick and full. I want it to be a bit more tapered, so I do a little twirl into the paint. That will continue to load it, but it also twists the brush into a nice fine point. And those lines that are there from our transfer are bleeding through beautifully. And so I'll just continue to go right over the top. Light, delicate hand here. And it's more of a pencil hold, which is nice because that will feel very natural to you. So you just hold it just like you would hold a pencil. I'm adding a little bit more black now. Some of these that are defined here are quite a bit darker. So I add a bit more of the Mars black and I'm going to twist that out with the head of the brush. This is the little eye that I'm doing right now, and it's very black. And if you happen to accidentally cover up over this little flash point in the eye, I'm going to teach you how to remedy that very quickly. I'm just painting around it, but it's very possible that you might end up accidentally painting over it. So what you would want to do is you'd want to use the end of the brush here. Just barely touch into that white, get that on the bottom of the handle, and then you could just dive that right out and create that flash point again just like that. All 
All right, now I'm going back into more of that dark charcoal gray. Continually adding um, some more water to this just to make sure it's very fluid. You can easily stroke onto the canvas. This is the little one here, so it has a bit of a curve to it. And then we're going to add a little bit more of a shading into that as well. with this one. Add some white to that. I'm going to come in with a bit more black. And then the outline just to help kind of define that, make it pop, be a bit more distinctive than the hair. Because it's all in gray scale, it can be a little bit confusing. So we're going to make that kind of pop out a little bit more. See, those are more distinctively horns now. Then we're going to go back to our range of darker charcoals and light grays. And we're going to start to add in the hair here. We're just following those transferred lines that we made. Keeping our brush nice and delicate. So you want to almost act like you're barely touching the canvas. That will keep the pressure really light. I'll wiggle with some of these. Now we want to make sure and go in the direction of the hair growth here, so we're going to follow that and these kind of go up and out. Short little strokes away from this uh, nose area. I've got a slight curve to them, almost like tiny little parentheses.
I love it. It's looking so cute. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out. And then uh, I'm going to do some of this fun detail to change it up a little bit here. Still going to be using our little bit brush and we're going to add some of this pretty red and just a teeny bit of white to it as well. Get a visual on that. I'm just doing mostly red and then a tiny little touch of the white. Beautiful little heart. Now we're going to come in with a bit more white. Now lighten up that to a much lighter pink. Now we're going to do these hearts in a lighter pink. A little bit of a push and then curl it out. And we're just going to hold the brush a little bit more over to the side to get a more opaque finish over the top. Heavier layer of paint. Over the top of that cute little heart there. Alright, now we're going to add even more white. We're going to start to work in these little roses off to the side. So a much more pale pink here. I'm going to add a little bit of water to help with the transparency. We actually want it to be a bit more transparent and quite a bit lighter. There that is. Really pretty light pale pink here and just little side pushes, little half circles. And same thing here. And another one here. Another one here. My puppy dog's coming downstairs. Right, beautiful little roses. Now I'm going to come with a little touch of even more white. Here's my girl. And a little bit of white here too. Little half circles, and again little half circles of white over the top. Just put those on in a circular pattern. And then they have little tiny dots in the center of those roses, so I'm going to use that technique where we use the handle of the brush. I'm going to dip into the black, do right there a little tiny touch. And we're going to dot it out with about like one, two, three, just like that. And again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, really delicate right there. That's beautiful. Love it. 
All right, now we're going to do some of this really pretty light, light green, and we're going to make it just with a touch of sage, too. So we're going to do a little touch of the green, and let's do a touch of white. Let's really lighten it up, though. So that's very, very, very light. Now we, hello, hello. Now we're going to add just a touch of this charcoal in there, too, and that's going to make it more of a sage color. And that is really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more water to that to help the paint really flow onto the surface. I'm going to kind of twirl it out here. That gives us a nice fine point. Now the shape of the leaf is going to feel like a little parentheses, not a little parentheses. And every place we see a little leaf, we're just going to work in those little shapes. Now these little leaves are a little bit tinier, so they're just like almost little touches that you do. So you kind of just push and then pull up, push and then pull up. All right, isn't that pretty? Rinse out. Now what's really interesting is you could honestly just leave it just the way it is with this very faint. You've got this Sharpie happening underneath the wash of paint. So you could just leave it the way it is because it looks just gorgeous and very simple. But if you want to define your wood grain even just a little bit more, you certainly can. And what I would do here is I would take the mama brush and a little bit of water. Let's go back into that charcoal firm press here. To make sure that line edge is very thin and then you can actually kind of, kind of drag this along those lines light light hand and bring that paint back out to the foreground so it just kind of depends on what you like this is not as subtle as it was before Well, I'll let you decide because I think honestly it looks really good both ways. Still pretty simple, so don't let this technique intimidate you at all. Very simple part of the process. We were just whipping this right out. Just a light little sketch across. That is lovely. Do you know we're done? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> this is a very easy painting for beginners. All right, and then we can just sign your masterpiece whenever you're done. So I'm going to use the little bit brush and do a little bit of that black. Add some water. I'll twirl it out there. Nice fine point. There it is. Beautiful. So, so, so proud of y'all. Great work today. All right.
Thank you again so very much for joining me for this lovely little painting that celebrates love and light and cute little Highland cows. All right, so again, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will, I have a link for this painting kit in the details in the description. And let's see, I think that's about it for today, but it's always a pleasure painting with y'all. And all of the supplies are going to be found on our website, tipsyartist.com. And we look forward to seeing y'all very, very soon. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Much love to y'all. Toodles.